Hi, my name is Greg from Pringles, and this is a video, I'm making this video to show you what's underneath. You know, I always make videos to show you what the finished product look like, looks like, or a product that uh, covers all this up, so uh, I just want to, I wanted to show you what it's like underneath. You know, I always tell you what's underneath, but uh, this will give you a good idea. So as you can see here, this is a all stainless steel square tube. You got 11 gauge, 2 by 3 stainless steel square tubes here. Um, with a layer of uh, rubber over top of them. Um, we put that layer of rubber over the top for a couple of reasons. One, just to uh, help protect the coating that's underneath the, uh, uh, the panels that are going to sit on top of it because uh, it is you know, powder coated before it's built. Uh, so there's that. It can also help with some vibration type issues. Um, also aluminum and stainless steel together can, you know, can help the corrosion process so you know by putting that rubber between there should uh, prevent that so many reasons that we put that rubber on there but it really uh, really should do its job and, and protect it um, now all of this is uh, stainless steel square tubing uh, frame with the exception of what the engine is going to sit on and the engine is going to sit on this uh, two by three uh, rail uh, heavy duty rail car frame now as you can see, that's a very, very, very heavy-duty metal. Uh, it's three-eighths thick. Uh, to give you an idea, our original Pringles, uh, the rear mount was a uh, quarter-inch uh, thick channel. And many of those trucks have, you know, they're still on the road today, 25, 30 years old, that that channel is still intact. So uh, you won't have to worry about that corroding and, and becoming a problem. Uh, three eighths thick as opposed to a quarter inch. It's it's just it'll last the life of this vehicle. I'm absolutely certain. So you shouldn't worry about that. Uh, you see here, this is our our fuel tank. It's a 22 gallon fuel tank. Um, you can see there's a pre-filter before the uh, uh, fuel pump there. Um, but that fuel tank, 22 gallons. So should be able to run a long time on 22 gallons of fuel. Um, I, we don't know exactly how long at this point, but uh, you'd definitely make it through an entire day, probably um, well beyond that. So, as you can see right there's the engine, the uh, fan housing. But uh, anyway, I wanted you to see, you know, just what this, uh, what it looked like underneath. Um, we got a two by, or that's a two by four. It's actually two two by two inch uh, stainless steel square tubes. Um, that are welded together to make the bumper. You know. So, um, anyway, I want to give you an opportunity. It's not every day that you get to see the uh, uh, what's underneath. And let's just say it will last forever. You know, this uh, this frame is bolted to the frame. Basically, we've got a, a piece of angle bolted to the frame, and then we weld a piece of angle to the square tube, and then bolt it there. And you're going to see several of them across. You know, as you go on forward, there's there's several attachments. I think there's five of them, maybe six uh, attachments on each side. But uh, yeah, and everywhere uh, the uh, the square tubing is actually welded to the uh, two by two. So and that's stainless steel, so it's gonna hold forever. So anyway, I wanted to give you an opportunity to see what it looked like underneath and. Uh, you know, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call here at Pringles. Uh, the phone number to reach me is 419-256-7763. Again, this is Greg from Pringles, and the number is 419-256-7763.